my friends my episode with the people who I have to say thanks in my life continues uh, today I'm going to speak about a person who came up into my life very in in diversified when I was in diversified situations tough situation year was 2012 when uh, my mom was serious in India and I had to leave to buy everything all my uh, all my earnings everything had come back I was jobless she was in the hospital she did recover and and then uh, I was looking for something to get started in Goa and I left to buy back so in 2012 and Baba always told me there is one person whom we can we can go to always uh, for anything I require to get a job or to get into a school or academy or whatever. Uh, so I'm talking about actually Subhash Velinka sir. Uh, Subhash Velinka sir I had never met before. I heard from Baba only because Baba used to be regularly in touch with him and Velinka sir used to always be a big time uh, associate with Baba. Same, same kind of thinkings and ideologies. And Baba had done some Malakam uh, or something. Some Malakam and something for the school. Whichever uh, Velinka sir was telling him, whatever he was telling him, uh, Baba was telling him. Now I had some great association with him. I had not met uh, Velinka sir. The meeting took place somewhere down in the month of November, I guess, November, uh, December 2012. And uh, we went to Vidya Prabhupada School in Parvari, where the time was given and uh, Milinka Saha was not on time as expected because people of same kind, they always have their ways of thinking, doing things, the same things. When I met him, uh, at first sight, I was a fan. I started first sight love, you know, the way he was, the way his structure was. Short, upright, and uh, eye to eye contact was like. Could understand this man is something which makes go on. Till then, I heard, I heard a lot of things about Virinka sir. I had done my study about him. And I'm sure Velinka sir also must have done something about me. So the way he also was impressed looking at me and the way I had left everything and come down for my parents. He straight away told me that you're going. I'm going to take over the uh, Krida Propodini. He had a dream actually in the school also. He was a man, he's a man of vision basically. Uh, man of course who had a big hand I guess in making of uh, Manohar Parikar as a CM at that particular time. A little bit earlier, 2010, I guess that was 2011, 2010. This time I'm talking is 2012. Uh, he told me that you're going to take over as the in charge for the Krida Prabodhini, and he straight away called Manohar Parikar, and he told him, spoke to him about me, and they fixed an appointment so that we meet up. And things get finalized. Uh, it did take some time because there were some commitments for the CM to have in uh, Delhi. And ultimately, we had a meeting, and uh, I got a job as sports manager in Krida Prabodhini, uh, a part of uh, Vidya Prabodhini. The job I got was. Initially promised was a little bit higher salary, but I got a, a standard salary. I won't mention on this. Which actually Velinka sir was also upset at that particular time because that was not what he was also promised to what I will be getting. But we had to salary was not the criteria for me. I wanted to get back and do something good for the state. And I started with uh Krida Prabhupada. Now the concept of Krida Prabhupada always Velinka sir whenever I met him during the course whenever he was there when I would tell him some things about myself he would come he would take me for functions he treated me like his own son 
and again after some time I, baba always told me that this person is the one who is your idealistic follower whom you have to be in your life his way of speaking his way his way of talking to people was like amazing the way he could convict and not just it was not just like i found myself in uh, the the kind of way i think i do things i found lot of similarities in a uh, velinka sir so we got into a good attachment you know it, it was like i was never studied from him anything but it was like a eklavya dunachara kind of uh relation which i developed which i would just watch him watch him walk watch his motion of walking and uh, the way he would talk many times he backed me up in the speeches he always to give his time to me whenever i had some inaugurations to do for my nursery anything and then he always was there for me velinka sir had a big hand in going politics i'm sure and he has made so many of the students and so many people in uh goa if there is a award to be given like dronacharya award if goa has something that kind of a thing there's nobody else then velinga sir velinga sir backed me up thoroughly uh he had some ill health also he was let down uh that was post i came back to, when i left uh, uh Krida Prabodhini. Talking about Krida Prabodhini, he had a vision. You know, he had a vision to have nine Prabodhinis. He kept on telling me, "Now one Prabodhini is done, three Prabodhinis are done, two Prabodhinis are done." And still, a man with vision who always wants to construct something positive. And only people who can understand him can digest him and take him and understand him and really give him response to hundred percent. I am one of them. I take pride in that. But I'm luckily associated with uh, Wellinger Sir over a span of from 2012 till today. I am in touch with him, just like how I was with Patil Sir. Wellinger Sir has fought many battles in life of justice. Sincere person, honest person. See now, when I talk about a person in uh, in my episodes, it's not like what the Google is saying or what who is saying what. It's my experience with that person, and uh, it's genuine. experience which i have shared and that is the episode based on very honest person uh person who is i remember once when i went for appointment with one of the sports minister i don't know who he was and he was late and he literally fired that person on the phone like this person is waiting for you do you know who is and so and he those ministers were like <laughs> i could say velika sir was too they used to be like their bosses i could say at that particular time later on i think there were a lot of let downs i also came to dubai in 2014 another good thing uh, what i felt about wedding sir when you are with somebody everybody backs you up there came a time in 2014 when i was feeling that i was not being properly handled in the property and i went and told wedding sir one time and the second time and i told him i want to go back to dubai because my bosses from dubai also had come down and he wanted me here When I explained to him the situation, my helpless situation of the organization at that particular time, and what I am expected to do, which I am not ready to do at that particular time, other than Wellinger sir, what I was asked to do, like other than Wellinger sir, uh, many things which I was not, I was not happy for to go on with the way I was asked. When I expressed it to Wellinger sir at that particular time, it was within a second he said, "Ambe." Yes, I think so. You need to go. Now that made me feel really more uh, kind of a thing, adoring him, because he was not for me. Because just I was there for him. He was there for me for the way I was and the way he looked up to me. He knew I was suffering at that particular time with my conscience, and he said go. After I left from Goa, and then I think 2016 and 2015, many episodes took place. Uh, where he was let down by most of the people whom he whom he counted on, uh, and it's a big it's a it's a it's a it's a big uh, mess. It's a big mess, mess actually. When life will count on somebody, he went through a lot of ill health after that. But this man is never a show business. He is not a show kind of a person. Where he expose, he is just fights all his personal life, his his old personal thing, and he still wants to give to the state. 
without expecting anything back. Now, what do we count this? A man of arrogance. Many people speak like that. Many people say that he's like that. He's arrogant. He's that. How how can he be? How can somebody justify that? Because he's a man of principle. He's straightforward. He bangs it on hard. He lives for it. He does things. And uh, even even after being let down, is he had he suffered so many things internally. When you love, when you love a person, and you get let down, ultimately you still have your principles to go on, and then you move on to a situation where you have to keep on continuing your same profession. He was let down on that basis, and he still fought back his health. His family was in uh, ill health also. So, Velinka sir, the way you are, the way the way you are structured, the way you stand, even today. Goa actually needs you, and Goa needed you long back. I should say it's too late, but still, if Goa can bite you and take something from you, we shall see something better. Any time of my life, one of the persons whom I'm ready to do anything, I can say, whenever needed. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you very much.